Alrighty, guys, what's going on? Corbin of Corbin's Corn Horror Reviews back again for another episode. Today we have the Dynamic by Sure Shot Cornhole. Pretty cool bag. I've had it a while. I needed to get this review out, but, you know, kind of took some time to get the weather to be nice enough to do it and get it in the rotation. So I also wanted to break it in because it is a carpet. So you know how that is. It takes a little while, uh, but pretty nice bag. I like it. We'll get into it. But first, I do have a Patreon. Link is down in the description below. Uh, sorry for the distractions here. I got both kids outside and they're both kind of running around being a little crazy, but that's okay. Hang on, babe. Um, I do have a Patreon. That's down below. Uh, also, this video is sponsored by Black Sheep Baggers. Uh, blacksheepbaggers.com. Check them out for bags, boards, apparel, accessories, all that good stuff. No, don't touch, bud. Don't touch. Don't touch. Sorry, guys. Um, and also, this video is sponsored by the Cornhole Cave. Uh, Cornhole Cave is awesome. He has a website, uh, thecornholecave.com. He has awesome boards, his bags, you know, all that stuff. And he's also a brick and mortar in Wichita, Kansas, which is really cool. I love that idea of a brick and mortar. Uh, I wish we had one around here, honestly. But go check him out for sure. Uh, he has sales going on all the time and does same or next day shipping. So definitely worth checking out. Um, let's get into the SureShot dynamic here. Uh, Mr. Norris is the man. Sent me a couple different bags. And knowing that I like carpet, sent me this one. I like it quite a bit. You know, it's, it's a little quicker carpet. It's kind of reminiscent of a Tango, but different fill and different overall form factor, but kind of similar speeds. So I do like that. So let's get into price. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Mike, I'm sorry. I did not look this up before I shot this. I believe they're about 80 bucks uh, from the website plus shipping. So you're looking at like 90 something shipped, uh, not terrible, pretty standard for a pro stamp bag in this day and age. Um, Break-in method. Mike kind of sent him to me pre-broke in a little bit. Uh, he messed with the carpet a little bit. Don't exactly know what he did. But then I wrinkle guard washed them with detergent and towels and stuff like I always do. Uh, tumbled them quite a bit and I've thrown them quite a bit. So that's why they're fuzzy. I don't know if you guys can pick up on that. They're pretty fuzzy, which is what you want out of carpet. That's when it starts to play kind of the way you want it to. Uh, these can still get a little dirtier when they start to play a little better. But, you know, is what it is on that. Um, speeds. I got a five on the slow, nine on the fast. So... It's that pro sniper fast and the uh the slow side is a carpet that i've never really felt before it's it's different it almost has a sheen to it but you know it just it plays nice it's a quicker carpet but it plays really nice that's why i say it's kind of like tango but not 100 percent like tango because uh, tango carpet's a little slower this is kind of a little quicker this is like five five and a half ish uh, but it does play nice um we got three f's we got fill feel and flop so the fill is just a nice kind of asymmetrical some bead you know it's, it's got a really nice hand feel um medium kind of medium fill for a carpet bag honestly it, most carpet bags are a little puffier this one's a little thinner which lends it to play pretty nicely uh but corner seams and edges are all great closing stitch is perfect it's like right near the edge really really like that um just high quality and then the flop not wild you know carpet oh excuse me doesn't normally get too wild with this pro sniper material on it it's going to get a little crazy at some point if they were like super destroyed and broke in but as of now they're they're pretty nice and playability we're doing everything you know it's carpet so flops cuts rolls blocks pushes um bullies you know stuff like that and these are these are really whole friendly carpet so you're not gonna have much of an issue with them hanging up which i really like so let's just get into throwing them you know enough me jabber john guys come on outside please Sorry about the kid distractions. You guys know how it is at the house. But uh, I do have wind coming right into this camera. Um, so that's a little interesting. It's making it a little tough to throw. But I'm going to try to loft some, lay some blocks, if at all possible. But this carpet is pretty darn friendly. So it doesn't always want to block. It kind of just wants to climb and fall. So if that's the case, then that's the case. But you can manipulate it. You know, you could definitely flop, cut roll whatever you want to do this carpet will do it uh, this is a carpet that i think in sticky situations it would play really really nicely uh, if you still wanted to stick with a carpet still wanted to slide bags in but you were able to lay some good blocks stuff like that you know i think this is a pretty good carpet for a situation like that uh, if the boards are really fast you might want to play with something slower you know, this, it's still climbing. I mean, it's not, not punishing you, but it's still, uh, still climbing enough. And if it gets near the hole, it's, it's basically going to drop. Hang on, bud. You can't get a cup out of a cup holder. So he's a little upset right now. Can you close that door, Peanut? Drop them all in. Hang on one sec, guys. Come here, bud. No, you don't need to go inside yet. Come on. Oh, a little 
little upset that you couldn't come inside. So it, it's just, it's a friendly carpet. You know, it's not an incredibly active carpet, uh, but it is nice and friendly, but it will do what you want it to. You know, I'm going to try to lay some blocks at some point, but we'll see. So let's go fast side here. You guys know you got a ultra loft pro sniper fast and then it still does that. I know that hit the tripod, but hopefully it's not too far out of alignment there. That was like super locked and it still basically climbed all the way up. <laughs> Buddy just ate it. Good for him. Cut. Oh, that's a solid one spot. You guys know that I just I throw slow bags better. The fast side on this bag, you know, I'm never going to throw it by itself. Oh, tripod's still good. I'm never actually going to throw the fast side just to throw the fast side. You know, I'm using the fast side strictly for pushes. So, just got to show off what it can do. You guys know how it is. Pro Sniper Fast. You're probably pretty familiar with it. Surprised that stopped, honestly, but hit the front of the board, so could have been part of it. But easy collects. Obviously, it's going to collect like no one's business because it's Pro Sniper Fast. See, I get a one down there. I get a four up here. Man, no, four bagger. It's just kind of the partially wind. I got wind at my back coming right into the camera here. So let's set up some uh, situational shots, if at all possible. Try to lay a block or so. Ah, apparently, I gave it a little, a little too much heat. Lay a block. We're just going to keep trying. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just go right into the hole every time. Lay a block. <laughs> oh, good. Finally, the wind blew hard enough to slow me down. Giving it a little too much juice on this side of the board. Tough when the wind's blowing and the wind stops blowing. And, you know, let's see if we can do it down here. Nice and high lofty. Nice and high. Almost got it. Um, I'm going to go a little slow side, just see if I can slither it into the side, or a little fast side, see if I can slither this right side here. Nice loft shot. Oh, I almost had it. Got it a little bit too centered. I'm going to try to take these all. Um, fast side, I guess. Nah, I only took one. Bummer. Perfect setup to kind of grab them all and show off that pushing capability, but as per usual, I missed. I know it's shocking, but I did. Let's go slow side again. Wind's kicking up. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. She just got you with water. Go on over there, Kylie. Don't splash him with water and get that out of the water, please. That's not a water toy. Oh, if you guys have kids and try to throw bags, you know exactly where I'm at right now. Just try to airmail this one. I literally haven't had an airmail in a review yet today, so. Guess it was time. You're okay, bud. Finally hit one. Really trying to set up a bag or two. If I can't, I'm gonna just set them up down there so you guys can see that they will flop. Uh, it's not going to flop over that. Maybe if I put another one behind it. Get up. All right. Good enough. I'll try to flop around that. I mean, you guys saw it lift. It tried to cut. Nah, I'm going to grab this. This is too good of an opportunity to have both of them. I'll set up a couple bags to flop around. I missed them both, of course. So I'm going to set these bags up. These are... Uh, Local challengers, very, very sticky bags. I'll be reviewing those at some point. One of the only local bags I've ever thrown that I actually enjoy. Nice and sticky. It's it's almost like uh, Neptune, slow side on those. So they're interesting. But I'm just going to try to flop all these, see what I can do. Good start. Nope. Flash been a little struggle busting lately. 
picked up on edge. I just totally missed my spot. Again, let's try it one more time. Distraction of the kiddos is uh, getting in my head. I'm not gonna lie. Guys, outside, please. Come on. They're just getting in my head. It's a good thing it was the last review of the day. Can't handle it much more. Ah, so close. I wanted to. Yeah, people do it. I promise you they'll do it. Just a matter of getting them to do it. <laughs> All right, big push. If I can get the kids out of the way, take them all. Excuse me, Kai. Can you scoot, please? I'm playing with wrapping paper. These kids are nuts. Big push. Take them all. Leave the locals. <laughs> or take nothing because I missed the left. So that's okay. Anyway, that is the dynamic by Sure Shot Cornhole. They're sweet bags. Boop. Oops. Boop. There they go. Look at that. Crazy. Um, pretty sweet bags. Mike's done a really good job. He has the raid that I need to review here, but I got to get that carpet really broken in. It's basically, it's kind of his version of a Neptune and they're really, really sweet. I just got to get them broken in. Um, but yeah, the SureShot Dynamic guys, check out SureShot. He's got so many good bags. I mean, the Loco, you've seen, uh, you've seen those a lot. I know you have. They're really, really nice. I reviewed them already. Just check out SureShot. They're really, really, really solid company and Mike's a great guy. So that's a short and sweet on the sure shot cornhole dynamic. If you guys like this one, please give me that thumbs up. Subscribe, share it with your buddies. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.